Hey guys, I'm back. I mentioned that I'll be recording some games on chess.com as well, so here's my first chess.com game I've recorded. I'm jumping right into it, a three minute game. Okay, so this actually ties in well with what we've talked about in previous videos. So black is playing a very early bishop f5. This move is unsound here because I can take on d5. Yeah, and he played knight takes. That's the correct way. If he had played pawn takes, I could play queen b3. So, after knight takes, I think... Just debating how I want to treat this position. Queen b3 or g3? g3 seems slow, just going for a fianchetto, but I'm going to do that. And I said on sound because if, if black has to take back with the knight here, I got to believe white has some advantage with the two center pawns versus black's single center pawn. Now I'll try to arrange e4, perhaps rook e1 on the next move, or knight e5 if allowed. Yeah, knight e5 makes sense here. Attack the bishop. Chess.com doesn't have a, a pool like ICC does, so I found this game just by seeking, sending out a seek. So now I've got the two bishops against his two knights. Bodes well for me. Maybe he'll try to occupy this square, c4. Just put a rook here for insurance. I that pawn on b7. Probably have to move the rook again. Here, just trying to chase away his knight. If he plays a5 to stop me from playing a5, I think I'll go queen b3. Plays g5. Could stick my bishop in on d6. I think I'm going to hold off on that, though. Um, if I play bishop back to e3, he gets the c7 square. So I am going to play it. Change my mind. And after rook e8, I'll play e5. Open this bishop, anchor this bishop on d6. He's in a bind now. One easy plan I have is c4, c5. I could also play for f4. That's tempting as well. Super tough to free himself. Support this. Yeah, the threat of c5 next move is severe for him. Let's go ahead and play that. I have to be a little cautious about weakening my king. He might take with this pawn so as to swing his rook up to e6. But still, I don't think he has time for that. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try to call his bluff here. Rook g1 almost wins for me on the spot, but he has queen f3 check. So let's do let's do this move. Threaten rook g3. I 
Oh, queen e4. Oops. Might force me to repeat the position. Yep. I'm going to go for the win. This is a little reckless. <laughs> I probably should not do this. Well, I am threatening not much at the moment, <laughs> but he can't really move. Try to get out of this. Ooh. Threatening, annoying stuff. Okay, I gotta go there. He's gonna take my pawn on h3, I'm gonna block. He can bail out with a draw now. Or he can try to take on f4 and win. I do not want to block with that rook, so I'm going to get mated after queen f3 if, if he... Or I guess I could block with that rook. Yeah, let's do it. Queen f1 is not mate. Almost certainly he'll take the draw now. Oh, he dropped his queen. <laughs> Lucky me, he dropped his queen. Alright, I benefited from <laughs> a huge blunder by my opponent. I don't know why I didn't claim a draw. You could have easily claimed a draw there. Alright, 14 rating points in the bag. <laughs> but yeah, um, going back, there was no way for me to escape this perpetual if he had done that. Ah, I'm a little frustrated that I botched that win. Well, what I assumed to be a win. His knight coming to e6 was stronger than I thought at the time. That's a great outpost square for the knight. Typically knights do well in front of uh, protected pass pawns. They make good blockaders of those. So it might just be the case that rook b3 is too slow. He played this portion well. Going here and I missed queen e4. Totally missed that move. Yeah, now, to play for a win, I had to play this move, after which I'm not even threatening anything. This and this keep me well tied down here. Hmm. So, yeah, I felt like I had a real good grip on the position. Maybe c5 was rushed? Or... Maybe I shouldn't have captured on d5. Maybe just queen takes b7 first. Then if he plays knight f8, he doesn't have access to that square. Although he's threatening knight takes f4. I'll have to address that. When he played f6, I also thought about playing bishop h3. Since this is a, a newly weakened pawn. That may have been better than f4. f4 allowed him to close it up after these captures, and then f5. But uh, one point in the opening, just don't play this way as black, the early bishop f5. I see this frequently, but you have to be very careful about the timing with bishop f5. If your opponent can capture on d5, and you have to take back, let's say, with a pawn, and then queen b3 is hitting both of these, you don't want to have to defend this position. So he played the superior move, knight takes d5. But still, I think white gets an edge here. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. See you later.